Hello everyone, today we're going to look at some MMA takedowns and ground fighting from the wall of the cage. The first situation we're going to look at is cutting the cage and entering the clinch or entering a clinch with a single leg. This is something Khabib does extremely well. Uh, Coach Kyle um, is showing here on me. The basic idea to cutting the cage is moving laterally um, alongside and maintaining your opponent's back to the wall. Okay, so you want to you wanna control the center of the cage, center of the ring if it's a boxing ring. Boxers do that extremely well uh, and uh, not giving your opponent any way out uh, except laterally, left or right. Now, here we're looking at a proper head position. Notice how his head is stuck under my chin. He really wants to drive that head into my chin in order to be able to control my body uh, positioned upright and not... Uh, let me stuff his head down uh, to escape. Uh, right here, we're looking at uh, a takedown, a first takedown we're going to see. He's going to get the single leg. My leg is in between his uh, legs. It's like running the pipe kind of thing. But since we're on the wall, uh, we're going to look at uh, different situations. So as you can see, he's pinching my leg with his. Then he grabs onto a double leg takedown, runs parallel to the wall and takes me down that way. Why he wants to run, run parallel? He doesn't want my back staying on the wall where I can start climbing back up and um, recovering. So what he does is he positions his body parallel to the wall and even though kind of ended up perpendicular to the wall now, ideally he wants to uh, end up with his body parallel and my body parallel to the wall as well. Uh, something again Khabib does superbly well. Here we're going to look at a second situation where he goes behind that leg, that single leg that he had um, isolated and he goes into a body lock or a hip, uh, hip lock and spiral take down to the other side uh, and then he establishes position. We're going to look at positioning at the very end of the video but um, we'll look at this again right now. He clinches, his, butt, his head is in proper positioning. I throw the wizard, he steps behind that leg of mine. Now, he raises that leg as he cups on the opposite hip. Here he goes into the Dagestani handcuff, uh, made popular by Khabib again. Steps over and traps the opposite arm. Let's look at it again from this side. See how he's going to step around. Here he used a little um, uh, trip on the back and drive forward to establish position. There you go. Now we're going to look at a third option where uh, I managed to sneak my leg outside from between his uh, two legs. You see that what I mean now? Throw the wizard. I pummel my leg to the outside. Very, very popular uh, way to defend and uh, he's going to employ a uh, front headlock with an underhook to a uh, kind of a, like a pancake turnover right here and he turns me over with my shoulders flat pinned on the floor let's look at this again this is a very effective very uh, easy to come by takedown you go with a high underhook um, front headlock and then step back and spiral around forward and around into a takedown. The best part is that you end up in a very good controlling position. Again, notice the underhook, the high underhook on the shoulder and then front headlock and a turnover. We're going to look at another situation here. He's going to step in front this time and shock me off. He can do a judo type throw, like a body, uh, like a hip throw, I'm sorry, hip or leg throw. Uh, or he could just shock me off here, depending on what I'm doing with my wizard. Right here, I'm not using a wizard, so it's easy to shock me off. But if I were using a wizard, he would probably have to go into a hip throw or something like that. Um, 
it could also go the other way around. Here we're going to look at another option where it gets that body lock again and it hooks the leg, shuffles back, and it trips essentially. Let's look at it at a slow motion. He enters the position, high underhook, steps the leg in front, and this time hooks in front of the leg. So now he's threatening a throw one way, and uh, he's going to hook the leg with his right, body lock here, and then shuffle back. There you go. He's going to shuffle back. As he shuffles, he raises my left leg, and the right one just gives in under. And he establishes a good position on top. Very important, establish a good position because if you don't, uh, you might just get swept if it's someone expecting a better, uh, expecting it better. Uh, now we're going to look at an actual ground fighting and ground control rather. Uh, he took me down already uh, and I'm trying to build up to my hands. He goes with um, opposite uh, wrist control and he throws in the near side hook as if he's going to take the back. Then he steps over and he goes into like a technical mount and back to the same position we were in earlier. Let's look at it in a little more detail. So the first thing he does is he throws that near hook in right here. You'll see that. He controls the far wrist, throws the near hook in as if he's going to take the back. In Jiu Jitsu, you take the back every time. But here he steps over. He throws that hooking leg over the other leg, and he ends up in that quarter guard. Now, here's the thing. If this is straight up jujitsu, um, he would probably be better off taking the back, simply because ending up in quarter guard is going to be easier for me to escape. But with punches involved and that top ground control, I do not want to be here. This is, uh, this is stoppage time, uh, pretty much. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. Check me out on Instagram. I post daily. Choke a bloke. Thank you, Coach Kyle. Have a nice day, guys. Hope to see you soon.